Hi everyone, Nicole Weiss with the National Institute for Human Resilience bringing you a wellness brief. Today I wanted to talk about mood boosting activities. These are activities that bring smiles to your face that can lift your spirit or lift your mood. And it's really nice to come focus on these throughout the week. What often happens is, especially during the weekdays, we get into a bit of a rut of a routine. Routine can be really great when we need that structure in our life. However, sometimes we get into that habit of simply waking up, logging into work, logging off of work, or going to and from work, right? Um, and then maybe making dinner, maybe watching some TV or a movie, and then going to bed. Again, great when we need structure, but can kind of dull our mood a little bit. So it can be helpful to think about what brings smiles to your faces, what lifts your mood, lifts your spirit throughout the week, and try to engage in at least one of those activities every day. And then especially on the weekends, what are some things that you can do to really boost your mood? So this is a whole big list. I'm certainly not going to go through all of them, but I wanted to highlight some of my favorite things. And again, I encourage you to check this out yourself. And maybe there's some activities that you used to really enjoy that you haven't engaged in in a while, or some new activities to try out, or things to just remind yourself, hey, that does make me happy. I should do that more often. First, play with a pet. Uh, I have two dogs myself. When I'm having a pretty rough day or long day, I like to just kind of sit, pet them for a little while, play ball with one of them. The other one's pretty lazy, doesn't like to do that. Um, but it really brings a smile to my face when I see my dog, you know, jumping across the floor to come play with me. Exercise, of course, is a wonderful tool we can use to boost our mood, inc increase some of those healthy hormones and endorphins inside of us. So maybe switch up your exercise routine, try something new, go to a dance class, lift some weights, whatever that looks like for you. As the weather starts to get nicer, maybe going outside, going for a jog or a bike ride. But exercising without a serious goal in mind can also be a pretty mood lifting activity at the same time. Make art. This is such a great one because art can be anything and you get to be the judge yourself. So whether that's painting, embroidery, crochet, doodling, whatever art looks like to you, get messy, get inventive, get creative, make some art. Journaling. Journaling is such a great activity you can engage in because it helps get whatever's going on in the body, the stress, the fatigue, the crud that's going on, gets it out a little bit. So one of the reasons why going to a therapist, talking with a friend, chatting with a peer can be so helpful and effective is because it does that. It gets it out of the body. So journaling is a really great way to do that for yourself. And of course, you can also be creative with this as well. Maybe get a personal journal that you journal in every day, use your phone, your notes app, whatever that looks like, but spend some time simply talking about what's been going on in your day or what's causing you some stress. It's over on the right-hand side here, but journal what you're grateful for can also be really nice as well. So oftentimes we do tend to think about the stress and some of the negativity going on in our life, and it can be really helpful and refreshing to switch gears and journal about what you're grateful for instead, or what, again, is bringing a smile to your face, what's bringing you some joy. I have a movie night with a friend. Virtual life is hard and it's wearing on a lot of us. One of the benefits though can be how we connect with people on the complete opposite coast as us. So if you have a friend that you haven't really connected with in a while, maybe call them on the phone and watch a movie at the same time while you get to chat and talk about the silliness of the movie or theories or whatever else is going on, but have a movie night, right? Go for a safe walk. This tends to be my go-to activity to boost my mood. When I'm feeling down or again, having a long day, a fresh walk outside can really lift my spirits. Of course, make sure you're walking in a safe area and maintaining social distance if needed. Listening to music can be another really great mood boosting activity. Maybe have some fun with playing with different kinds of playlists and creating new tracks for different activities going on in your life. You know, I have a morning one, a workout one, and an evening one that I kind of go to but have um, some fun with that. Check out new artists, check out different playlists that other people have created and maybe find some new music that really brings a smile to your face. Gardening, it is headed into springtime and this is the perfect time to either start planning a garden or refresh or renew your garden you've already started. There's a lot of interesting research coming out about our gut health and how it relates to our mental health. Well, when we garden, we tend to produce really healthy food for ourselves. So that's something to really think about as well. Plant some tomatoes, some peppers, some lettuce, things that you know you want to put in your body and see how that affects your mental health as well. And also 
play in the dirt. It's actually really fun and can again boost some of those endorphins in your body to get a little messy and get creative with your garden. Make a gift for someone. I love this because one of the aspects of resilience is also how we get out there and help other people. So spend a day making gifts for someone in your life, whether that's your neighbor, some family, friends, your coworkers, whatever that looks like. Gifts can be anything too, right? Maybe you make cookies for your office. Um, maybe you are working on um, a blanket for someone special. But think about who is in your life. Could you bring a smile to, your, to their face? And is that something that you can help with? Work on a puzzle, currently working on one myself. It's been taking me a couple of weeks, but it's a hard one. But this is a great one too, because it can engage some of those cognitive uh, motors in your brain as well. And you can also do this while you're watching a movie or chatting with, some, with a friend, maybe even talking on the phone with someone from a different area than you um, while you're working on a puzzle and engaging some of those activities. And then finally, set goals. We didn't know what this last year was, was gonna look like. We are not where we expected to be at all a year later almost from the pandemic starting. And so maybe have fun and think about where would you like your, your life to be a year from now, five years from now, 10 years from now? What kind of goals do you have in your life or goals you have in mind to work towards? Again, hopefully this is something that is engaging for you and brings some kind of joy to your life and thinking about what do I really want out of life? So at the end of the day, sit back, ask yourself, what brings me joy? If it's something you're already doing, fantastic, do more of it. If you're finding, you know, I don't know what brings me joy right now. Maybe try something new, check out some new activities. Um, and of course, connect with other people, share this list, talk with others about what's bringing them joy, because you never know what you might be surprised with. Thanks for joining me today. Be well today, and I'll see you next time.